See, now that adds a little summit summit. Today's my birthday. Whoop whoop. We're gonna be making some birthday beats, boy. So I got nominated by BJ Bead on Instagram. I'll drop his at in the description below. He's a sick producer. And he's also a very good guitarist, but he nominated me to make a beat using this sample pack by Chill Hip Hop and uh, the Angelico Guitars. So I found this pretty sweet bass sound. Yeah, I'm only going to give myself like an hour to do this because obviously it's my birthday and yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got to be doing other stuff as well, like, you know, celebrating, living it up. In quarantine, I'm pretty sure this is all in the key of D right now. E. Um. We're gonna need to mix the hell out of this. It's still a bit rumpy. But yeah, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Yeah. Um. Sounds pretty funky. I mean. It's actually, it's cool because this kind of flipped the vibe that I thought it was going in and kind of took it more towards where I wanted it to go. We don't want to EQ it too much because then we're just going to get rid of the dynamics and we're going to get rid of some of the, the lows and the mids that kind of give it like that warmth and character. And you got you to gotta keep you keep that warmth and character, it gives it you know, texture, the chef's kiss, you know. We've got a little piano in there, we've got a little bass in there. The next thing I think we should do is add some drums, so let's see what's in the pack. Ooh, that's loud. I like that one. Uh, that's a nice clean kick. We're gonna change that filter and then stick a crap ton of drive on it. It's not good enough, you know. I'm gonna take the let's sound from the end of the open hi hat. Pop that in. See, that's so much better. That there is our hi hat. Quantize that because I'm pretty sure I was just vibing, you know, but that was not in time, even in the slightest. I'm just rambling. 64. Uh, you don't want a snare that's louder than your kick in general because that sounds a bit off. I mean, you can have, I don't know, to me that sounds a bit off, and this is just my opinion. And I might be chatting a whole lot of shit right now. So, like, the volume of your hits matters so, so much. What I want to do is put a little click and on top of that, that sound. Only thing is, is that when you record clicks like that, Especially with the sharp sounds, it kind of picks up a lot of the room echo. And then if we take the end off of that, it should get rid of some of that. Some of that adds a bit of texture. So anything with a minus seven sound is very cool. It's very jazzy. Let's see, what I've done is just change the other photo, put the volume to 50. This is the thing, you want to quantize some things, but you don't want to quantize everything. So there's something like this, where I actually want to take it a bit out of sync, because otherwise it just sounds way too robotic. As humans, we like, I mean everyone says this, but we like things that sound human, we don't like things that sound robotic. I kind of like it. I like it a lot. When it comes to guitar, I think I'll just record that myself, unless I find something we like. See now that adds a little summit summit. I think let's reverse this sample.
So a lot of you will know about the murder of George Floyd. Um, and we need to recognise that systemic racism is, is still as prevalent today. It's important, I think, that we, as musicians, bring attention to this. We owe so much to black culture. Basically every genre on the planet, every popular genre on the planet, is stemmed and been made and pioneered by black musicians. As a community, us musicians who do what we can to uplift, promote, pay homage to black musicians. Um, I'm going to leave a link below with petitions you can sign and places you can donate to to help. All of our Western societies are built on slavery and colonialism. We need to change. We need to start pushing for change from our MPs and our representatives. We need to do what we can. Yeah, so keep signing petitions, keep donating. If you can protest, please protest. Um, remember there's still a pandemic and it disproportionately affects black and ethnic minorities. Love. We're gonna have to work on these drum beats because that's just too, it's too boring, I think. Especially for some of this. There's a lot of dynamics in there, especially from the piano and the guitar. And you've got the little wavy set as well, so we're gonna need the drum bit to like kind of pick itself up. Cool, we'll leave that there for now. Well, all right, all right, all right. So basically I let this track breathe for a couple of days. I've tuned everything to make sure they're all on the same key. Found another cool kick drum in the in the sample pack from this cool drum loop. Completely changed the drum beat. I want to add some guitar to it, then we need to add some little sprinklings of ear candy, that kind of stuff. Um, little, you know, little bits of texture. I keep talking about texture. Texture is very important. This isn't completely glued together yet, so we do need to work on the mix. Yeah. 